Put your hands, tools, wings, and whatever's together for your guest of honor. Hi, Kona and Pony! We're a couple of independent warriors whose only direction is adventure. Kate Beaton was already acclaimed as one of North America's top comic strip creators for her satiric look at history in Harka Vagrant when she turned her attention to Kids Lit with her first book for children, the award-winning saga of warrior Princess Pinecone and her tiny flatulent horse in The Princess and the Pony. It's not just kids who are charmed by her story of the rambunctious young Spitfire. The book now has been turned into an animated series for Apple TV, and the show titled Pinecone and Pony will be streaming for the first time starting on April 8th. When someone comes up to you and you're like, would you like your book to be an animated show? You're like, yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, so I jumped at that for sure. And then um, we spent a little while taking it out to um, to different uh, companies and stuff. And I learned a lot about how TV works because I this is my first foray into television. And um, we ended up partnering with DreamWorks and then Apple TV. Uh, after after going out to LA and doing that Hollywood thing where you go and you do your little song and dance and you're like, this is why this show would be great. <laughs> Take a chance on us. And they did. Princess Pinecone will be voiced by the young actor Maria Nash. And as she embarks on her adventures with her extremely cute, huggable and fragrant pony friend, Beaton says viewers of all ages will likely see something of themselves in her desire to dream big and learn from her mistakes. She's a very impulsive kid. She has like big ideas that don't always work out. And that was, that was a big part of things. You know, she's not like saving the day all the time and winning all the time. She falls on her face sometimes, which, which is just real life, you know? And, uh, but she gets up and keeps going and she's got her best pal behind her. And, uh, and we didn't want a perfect, main character we wanted someone who who can be rough around the edges sometimes because that's all of us as as kids you know the colorful animation for pinecone and pony was produced at ottawa's atomic cartoon studio and as executive producer beaton worked with showrunner stephanie calliner from schitt's creek and a team of writers to expand the world of the book with a mix of elements from fairy tales and modern life it's not earth and it's not our it's not like historical fiction but the way that we describe it is, it's like a child's imagination of what the past is, which like, if you ask kids, you know, what did they have back in time? They're like, well, they didn't have phones. And so there's no like, um, there's no technology and stuff like that. But then like a kid might also imagine like, yeah, but they probably had like shoes like mine. So they do have they'll be wearing like running shoes, right? Pinecone and Pony makes its bow on Apple TV on April 8th, and Beaton is pleased to have a home alongside such popular shows as Peanuts and Ted Lasso, which proves that you can be funny and positive at the same time. Which is why she's a relatable character, and so are the other kids in the show, um, because they all, they all have distinct personalities. And, um, and... It's, it's just fun. In the end, we wanted to make a fun show. There is a fart per episode. One fart per episode. I'm Stephen Cook for the Saltwire Network.